Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. Now, in the last episode, we just got done waxing Kaneshiro's ass, and in the good way, not the bad way. Like, we literally didn't wax his hairy ass. We whooped his ass, and now we have about right. five days Go until ahead, he man. leaks those pictures, but I'm pretty damn sure that we changed his heart, so if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy, because here comes more Persona 5. And I know I said uh, that I'm gonna start saying back. everybody buckle the fuck up in every single episode that I do, but this series is just too pure, so this is gonna be the exception to the rule. I don't wanna have to hype you guys up. You should already be buckled up for this series. Anyway, let's continue. Kaneshiro got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. You think we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. We can't be sure of that just yet. You mean he might not have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That is not the issue. Despite Kaneshiro's change, his organization remains intact. I can only hope they don't abscond? What kind of word is that? You can't be using those big words around me, Yusuke. You mean like, run off with it? I guess that is possible. After all, loss of the leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of the group. That is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some groups that lack a strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. Yeah, these people worry too much, man. All we can do now is pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kaneshiro's confession motivates the police to crack down on the Mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. Little does he know that the police are the Mafia. That part will be up to Makoto Sis. That aside, we've done everything we can do for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until the results become clear. Hey. According to Yusuke's info, there's a famous shogi player in Kanda, right? If we have time, why don't we go meet them? Ooh, yeah. Oh, we can rank up our shit with Shijiro. And what's today, Monday? Okay, we can't call the maid. So we are going to go to Kanda right now because I'm down to meet some shogi players. I'm down to get shogi all night long, even though I have no idea what the hell shogi is. Kanda's right here. So we're going to go to Kanda, and I'm going to be like, hey, Kanda talk to you? No? Okay, let's talk to shogi playing student. Hey, hey. That girl's playing Shogi. Maybe she's Hufumi Togo, the one Yusuke mentioned. Why don't you go ask her? Togo-san? Hifumi-chan? Let's be less formal. Let's say, hey, Hifumi-chan. <sighs> you have the wrong person. Mm. But she's the only weirdo who plays Shogi at a church. She's a famous Shogi player, so maybe you need a certain level of charm to interest her. Aww. If I get my charm up to suave level, she might listen to me. Well, she's the only person playing shogi in this damn church. Of course I didn't get the wrong person. All right, fine. We'll be back. We are going to go to... Let's go to Shibuya. Central Street, because there's a card showing up there. So I guess I have a confidant. Let's see who that is. Is there anybody on this street? Who's this guy? Hey, man. Where the hell did all these flyers come from? Meow. Oh, I mean, excuse me, sir, but do you happen to know who put these dope? Damn it! What I mean is, the flyers have this cool mark on them. Are they for a store that's nearby? Wait, is he talking to a cat? Hmm? Is that cat a persona like Morgana? I'm on to you, man. He's looking at that cat awfully close. Maybe this guy's a secret persona user, huh? But who's the confidant that's in Shibuya? Because it wouldn't show it on the station thing if there wasn't a person here. You know what? We're just going to go to Shinjuku. We're going to go to the red light district, a.k.a. People will do a lot of things that your parents wouldn't want you to see for 500 yen. We're going to talk to our main man, Mishima. Damn it. Hey, next time tell me it's just an interview. I look like an idiot getting all dressed up for that. And that Oya-san? She's the devil incarnate. It was horrible. What happened? She's pretty, but super scary, too. I got blasted with endless questions. I got hit on by a drag queen. And after all that, I got yelled at. Just where did I go wrong? Seriously. But anyway, I did my best to promote the Phantom Thieves. Remember that when you're reading a glowing article about you guys, okay? So, you did my request I asked you to do. Thanks. Okay, let's hang out with Mishima just a little bit. I like this guy. What do you think? I feel like he gets ragged on a little bit too much, but he's a cool guy in my book. Hey! I have some great info for you. Okay. Um, 
It's about the next target for the Phantom Thieves. This one's massive. That's what she said. Just tell me already. I'm not interested. You sure are fired up. No, well, of no. course. We've got a huge target on our hands. This is our guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's great at acting, has solid conversational skills, he's even been in all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the Phantom Thieves! He's got to be doing some shady stuff, I just know it! And no, I'm not just saying that out of jealousy. I heard a rumor that a famous idol fell into his clutches. You need to act on behalf of her fans! Calm yourself. Rumors are wrong all the time. It's none of our business. So you just want to ignore the wishes of those fans, Z? Come on, this is the evil underbelly of the entertainment industry. It's perfect for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, this would be the best publicity possible for you guys. What do you think? Well, pretty good tactic, huh? Aren't I an amazing producer? Just you wait. I'm going to put the Phantom Thieves on the map. You'll practically be swimming in requests. Mishima's motivation seems to be growing stronger. He doesn't deserve a little roll-up from me. I feel like he's being petty. He is Captain Petty. So we're ranked six with Mishima. All right. I like the sound of that. That's right. I'm the producer for the famous Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring. I'm not a zero. Hey, take out your phone. Okay, and? All right. I just sent you that actor's data. Why? I didn't ask for that. Don't worry. This request will boost your popularity, guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you guys have gotten this far, right? Okay, now he's starting to piss me off. Absolutely. Nice job. No, 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 no. We're gonna say, is that right? No, no. I think you mean, yes, that's right. Ugh, you just don't know all the stuff I do for you guys. The Phantom Thieves' success is thanks to me, and the Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the one who's responsible for those changes. Uh, I don't think so, buddy. That means I'm not a zero. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know once I've found some more details. See you around. Bye. I felt like Mishima would be a character that would be a part of our team. But I guess he's just like a consultant. He's like an outside third-party presence. I thought he would be part of the team. I thought he would have his own persona. But he might. We'll see. I mean, it is still pretty early in the game. Mishima could be a this persona user. Is overwhelming. Good morning. It's quite hot today. You're quite hot today. By the way, Kaneshiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. I can't wait. It's gonna get busy. True. This is true. With the added attention, we may receive more requests on that message board. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now while we still have the chance. Yeah, I really should get on that mementos tip. I shouldn't neglect that. I think I'm on like level 4 or 5, so I'm pretty good. I'm not neglecting it. Don't worry, guys. Off camera, I'm doing my thing, guys. I'm letting my dick swing. I'm in mementos. I'm all up in that ass. I'm making sure everybody's armor is up to date. But right now, we're going to check our IMs because people are blowing up our phone. The red light district from Makoto! Or Ryuji, you got plans today. Uh, bros before hoes? Or, no, Makoto's not a hoe. She's not a hoe for show. Uh, we're gonna go with Ryuji. It's been a while. You got plans today? I still can't just sit around doing nothing. I'm still in the hallway, so let me know if something comes up. Yeah, let's hang out with Ryuji. Bros before Makoto's. I'm not calling her a hoe, guys. She is not a hoe. None of the girls in this game are hoes. Uh, I'm really not digging all this sitting around crap. Hey. Yo, what do you think about training a bit? Yeah, let's do it. Even though my bond's not going to yeah. deepen. We're going to go hang out at uh, Okubo. Uh, I've already been there. No, I'm not going to go there. Let's go here. Yeah, Dome Town. I love Dome Town. I don't like roller coasters, but I like the sound of Dome Town. Uh, Here we are, just two dudes alone at an amusement park. Not like there's anything wrong with that, though I guess it'd be better coming with a girl. Whatever, I'm accepting my fate. Come on, let's go over to a roller coaster. I'm ready to scream. 
Don't get sick again, okay? Go by yourself. Let's ride the Ferris wheel? You know what? YOLO, baby. Dude! You trying to punish me with that boring shit? Are you afraid? You are, aren't you? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am afraid of roller coasters. Come on, let's go! See? Even Z screams like a girl. Phew! That shit was just as thrilling as always. Whoa! Whoa! My knees feel kind of weird. Don't it feel like you're walking on clouds or something? Oh, hey. When they get stuff, you gotta use those muscles for. Come on, let's blow off some steam. Man, couples are freaking everywhere in this place. I wonder what they're thinking about us. I don't think my bond with Ryuji will deepen just yet. Maybe if we hold hands, our bond will deepen. Does anybody out there ship Ryuji or Z? I see in the comments, you guys ship Z and Yusuke. I don't see it. I, I see Ryuji uh, and An. I see bad. that because they both have blonde hair. But I don't see Z and Yusuke for some reason. Got time right the cafe's now. open for a little while longer. What will you do? I can teach you the ropes. I feel like I can become closer with Sajiro, but my bond won't deepen. Nah, Next not time, yet, man. my main man. I think right now, I'm actually gonna water the Plantum Thief, which is still a, such a badass name. I love that, you guys are so creative. Let's see if we gotta water the damn plant. Nice. It looks pretty healthy for now. See, I'm keeping it in tip top shape, guys. And also, I returned my movies back at the DVD store, so don't worry about that. Um, let's go to, I don't know where to go. Can't go here because we need to level up our charm. Let's go to Shibuya. Let's take a trip down Central Street. Yes! Kawakami wants to come over. Yeah, buddy. You guys don't know how much I love this social link. It's so cool. Let's call her right now. Yes. Hi. Hi. Come on over, Becky. Hey. It's not going to deepen, but I really don't care. 5,000 yen well spent. Then I'll head over. Okay, I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. Wait, why do I have to clean my room? I'm paying you 5,000 yen so you do that for me. What? That's not how this works, lady. I pay you the money, and then you clean my room. I don't clean the room before you come. Kawakami cleaned my room. There you go. She seems to be thankful that I requested her. Oh, that's right. I have something Kawakami might like. I should give it to her as a gift. Yuji Matcha Flan. It is tea pudding set with red bean and dumplings. Who might like this? I don't know. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Should I try it? Let me see. Hmm. Is this for me? I wish I could have gotten something more expen- Just kidding. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow, this is cool. Oh, God. It feels like I didn't really impress Kawakami much with my gift. Yikes. <laughs> Thank you for I fucked that one up all the way. I don't know who would like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure people who have played this game knows who likes that. I wish, like, I could just tell. Like, it'll say, oh, a person with this type of personality would like this type of thing. Maybe An would like it because she likes food. Yeah, maybe she would like it. It's quite hot. Today. Good morning. It's hot today. Kaneshiro's deadline is drawing near. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. We're fine. <laughs> As expected from someone who's been through this three times already. If you say so, then, yes, I'm sure it'll go well. What are you doing today? I'm doing whatever you want to do today. Let's do it. I'm gonna hang out with Makoto. Bang. There are so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. You're very well informed. Have you ever been here? Stay close to me. Don't ever let me go, Makoto. <laughs> is it really that dangerous? Oh yeah, baby, hook my arm. Ah, my heart is racing. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that, but it was mainly thanks to the police's efforts to clean up the area. But... Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. I would love to go to Shinjuku. At Makoto's request, we walk separately through Shinjuku. Why separately? Countless men tried to start conversations with her. Oh, Ayoto. 
Who are these men? <sighs> Show them to me. Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for the hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted was to ask if any Shujin students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I... You should have known better. That was dangerous. You get flustered easily, huh? Let's say you should have known better. Well, I mean, he did seem suspicious. But that was exactly why he seemed like a good person to ask. Hmm, I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks much. again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. I can feel quiet motivation from Makoto. Oh yeah, roll it up everybody, and... Yes! Priestess rank 2. I can't really bob my head that much because my neck hurts. <laughs> but I try to do the best I can. Baton pass. Allows you to pass your turn over. Okay, we know what that All is. Right. So basically when you hit somebody with a weakness, you can pass it on to them. That's pretty cool. That aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then. Huh? Uh oh. Busted! Huh? That was. Did you notice? I that? used to be in the same class as her! But why is she here? Because she's doing whatever the fuck that is! The after school salon? Why is it called a salon? What kind of place is that? Oh, we know what kind of place that is. I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. Oh, uber suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too, as my witness. Would that be okay? Sure. Well, we've spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right, then. Thank you for today. We know what kind of place that is that that girl went into. Especially if you go downstairs rather than upstairs. Because in Japan, whenever you go downstairs to something, uh, that's always bad news. That's some freaky deaky shit down there. That fortune teller's prediction was accurate, but 100,000 yen is pretty steep. Should I pay that? Should I go to Shinjuku and pay that? I don't know. I think I'm gonna call Kawakami. Oh. Let's call her right now. Let's see what she's up to. Um. Hey, baby. I work on Friday and Saturday evenings. What? Hi. You saw me yesterday, though. What kind of bullshit is that? Okay. You know what? We are gonna go over to Shinjuku, and we're gonna pay that lady 100,000 bones, and let's see what happens. Oh, you're Zisan from the other day, right? I remember you. You had a very abnormal destiny, as I recall. Please, take a seat. <laughs> you want to purchase a holy stone, huh? For just 100,000 yen, you can change your fates. Mm. Shit, 100,000 yen? It's not called the holy stone, it's called the holy fuck! Thank you very much, here you go. Oh my god, and we lost 100,000 yen! Why did I do that? Mm -hmm. It's the smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already charged with the happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days! Please stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Well, then. Goodbye. I should head home. Oh my god. What kind of stats are we going to get from that? It's probably going to be like 1 HP. Watch. Uh, oh, you're, you're home. Back. I was about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove off. I guess you start forgetting things the more older you get. Hey, hey. Last time we went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid a hundred thousand yen for this holy ow! What the heck? Mm. Hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all the gravel at the bottom of the... Wait, see? I have a bad feeling about this. Hey. Hey, do you mind looking over the shop while I... For real? The stone shattered! What's gone into you? Whoa. Huh? This tastes... Salty! Hey, the holy stone is just salt! Oh, hell no! Mm -hmm. Z, what's going on? Salt. I'm just a bit salty! I'm not just a bit salty, I'm a lot salty. You're salty. That reminds me, I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. Mm. 
Hmm, I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in that case, maybe the holy stone is supposed to help you get better at cooking. I don't think that's right. That doesn't make any sense. The fortune teller tricked us! What? You're saying she scammed us out of 100,000 yen? That is exactly what I'm saying! We could have bought loads of fatty tuna with that money! No way. So that holy stone was really just a phony stone in the end. The fortune teller's name was Chahaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is just unacceptable. Hey. We need to go complain to her! Yes! We're gonna go there right now! I should go talk to her and try to figure out her true intentions. Oh, we know her true intentions! She scammed you out of 100,000 yen. She's out somewhere getting lit in the red light district. She's like, oh, I got 100,000 yen for some salt? Yeah, baby. I'd be pissed as fuck, man. I'd be throwing hey. hands all over the place. And I don't even know how to fight like that. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. What do I have to read? Just these one-offs. I guess I could check the nightlife spots. But we don't really need to know about that. So we're just going to skip this. And the cool thing about this is that every time you read... You unlock a new hangout spot that you can go with your friends. So now we can go to Seaside Park. Yeah, I like the sound of that. All right. Ooh, but it's Friday. Oh. So we can call one of our best friends. Hi. Thank you for your call. I'm your... Oh, it's just you. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya's getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you can pass that area on your commute to school. But don't take too many detours, okay? Oh, it seems like she likes me. Because she's worried about me. I mean, I know we just spent 100,000 yen. But at least we still have enough to spend on our maid. I don't want to call her our maid because I feel bad for calling her that. Even though, you know, what? some people are proud of being maids. Master. Well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Yeah, they do. Do some real cooking. Can I have a different maid? <laughs> oh, man. I feel like being a dick. Let me say. Do some real cooking. I want to see what she says. What? I can cast a magic spell that makes it extra delicious. Or would you prefer the homemade cooking next time? Although, that would be an additional cost. I make the best egg rice with soy sauce. Mmm, that sounds pretty good. Don't request me if you're going to complain. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? I was curious. So I could slack off in class? I wanted to see you. Hmm, are you sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain, since I'm making money from it. Yeah, you're making a lot of money from it. Ugh, I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have really been restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked more about our bonus instead. I hear they might even cut the teachers' salaries. I'm so sick of it. Your sister's bills, right? I'll request you more often. Really? Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, master. Uh, I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Who's that? Better not be a guy. Hello? What? What? How much? I can't. Yes, but that's that's true. Sure. Yes, yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. You have it rough. Are they that expensive? Don't overdo it. Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. Uh, what am I gonna do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by, so I can stop by whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Oh, you know what I feel? I feel... Yes! Rank 3, Housekeeping. Allows you to request Kawakami to make coffee or do laundry for you. Right. So Sweet! You can now hire Kawakami to help out at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She will help you save time. I love saving time. Uh, huh, this isn't how it was supposed to go. 
In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. Yeah, but you're old. Good night. You're a teacher. People who do these services and who make these calls to hire these maids, they like them young and slender and sexy. You're just a teacher and ugh. Just kidding, I like her. Look at all those police cars. Did something happen? Looks like they're searching the premises. Another psychotic breakdown? I can't handle this. Does it have something to do with those posters we saw? Did they arrest the Phantom Thieves? No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. And yet he simply turned himself in. Even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, you jealous? Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <laughs> Little do you know. <sighs> now that we know that Sai is going to catch us eventually, I wonder if it's at the Phantom hands of Makoto. Thieves. Damn it. Like, I wonder if she finds out that Makoto's a Phantom Thief and then she, like, lures Z into some trap. I hope not because I really like Makoto. I'm rooting for Makoto. Hell yeah! Kaneshiro finally confessed! Hell yeah! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! Ooh. It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. Why not? I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there was a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Aw. Who was that? I wanted her to be here. Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine. No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? What did he say again? Another metaverse user. Yeah. Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Maybe it was that black dude talking to that cat. I'm on to that guy. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. <laughs> I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. Now what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. True, true. We can't just pick any old schmo now. We gotta top There's this There's no one. need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should right. just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too! By the I way, like that, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive! Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party! How much can we wow. get for that? Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> and that's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Anna and Makoto are becoming Hi, Makoto, besties. There's something we forgot to tell you. So, oh. Uh... What's wrong? Hello? 
I hope you remember we have finals next week. Oh. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. Of course. I mean, she is part of our team, but she's still the student council president. She got to let us know that. If you wish not to stand out, you would best not get bad grades, okay? Yes, boss. That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. Why is she getting so mad, though? For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? Gotcha. <sighs> I never had a friend like that. That always kept me on top of things like that. If I failed, I failed. Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Yeah. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. Good choice. But that's impossible. Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? <sighs> I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. Oh, don't start with that bull bull. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Yeah. Please excuse me. Good answer. Makoto hey, is such a savage. <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Who is he talking yes, to? Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Oh, bitch made. Damn it. Why is this guy making these phone calls to these shady people? Why is he even involved in this shit? I'm home. I don't get it. Like, why is the principal out of all people involved with some shady shit? Hi, sis. Hi, guys. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. Why is she being a bitch? So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Good for you. Good for you, Makoto. Proud of you, girl. I felt so bad for her. You guys saw me in the episodes. I felt really bad uh, when it felt bad. like everybody was just piling on her. And she now fits in with the Phantom Thieves, so I'm happy for her. How goes it? Everything seems above board with you, but... That doesn't mean you can slack off because summer's on the horizon. Got it? Got it. This reaction is incredible. I'm honestly shocked to see it. It is only natural that people are surprised. Even the police were struggling to catch him. Yeah, by the way, you said you were called in by the principal? Did something happen? It was regarding my investigation of the incident with Mr. Kamashida. Don't worry, I didn't mention a word about any of you. I essentially told him I was unable to find any info. Thank you, Makoto. Are you gonna be okay? I will. I've graduated from my role as the exemplary honor student. 
from now on, I'm going to be more honest with myself. It's quite a refreshing feeling. What are you going to do now? Want to stay with the Phantom Thieves? That's my intention, assuming it wouldn't be any trouble. Welcome aboard. You sure about this? I don't know. Welcome aboard, Makoto. It'd actually be a big problem if you didn't stick with us. We should allow her to join us. It would be greatly convenient. Well then, I hope I can continue getting along with all of you. An advisor, huh? This new teammate of ours is pretty promising. We'll be able to do even more now. Let's see who's texting us. I do all kinds of chores. Should we hang out with her again? Eh, uh, not today. You know what? We're gonna see that lady in Shinjuku who sold us 100,000 yen worth of salt. And we're gonna get salty with her. All right, Chihaya, you definitely got some explaining to do, girl. Let's ask Chihaya about the Holy Stone. Huh, she's with a client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. Do you want to eavesdrop on them? Yeah. Let's see what they're talking about. I want to see another guy get scammed in the process. Um, How are you healing? I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. Yuya said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? No. Let us ask the turret. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Whoa. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm, I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great misery. What kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. God damn! What? Hospitalized? Uh, arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let Yuya throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock, and that I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, please let me buy another one from you. What? What? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay you in up to 36 installments, right? Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya! For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has the Holy Stone? Well, if you buy that, Yuya is gonna get scammed, alright? There's no way that could be true, right? That thing's a fake, remember? It's just rock salt. Right. It would make our jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Chihaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey Z, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Hmm? hmm? Meowing? What? Hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. That stone won't help her. There's another solution. It's not good to scam people. I don't feel like blowing up her spot. Let's say there's another solution. And it involves me. There is not. <laughs> you see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human methodologies. Fate is absolute. Although, I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. Oh, get the fuck out of here with your scamming ass. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? Yeah, I can whoop his ass. What's his name? No, full name, please. Mine? Oh, you're talking about Yuya, aren't you? It's Yuya Yuchimara. Um, why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Oh, you, you know what I'm planning on doing. Yes! What do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm gonna change fate. You'll see. You'll all see! What? You honestly believe you can do something? I trust you. Excuse me? Gracious. It feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. What? Yeah, you like that? You! 
What do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm, I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fine. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change her destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with a holy stone. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. Ending the boyfriend's abuse. Okay, so we're going to go in mementos. We are going to change that guy's heart. And we're going to let her know that we ain't anybody to fuck with. Don't be ridiculous. This new ally you gained was Makoto? <laughs> Just tell me the truth. You already know the truth. You're clueless, huh? You already know the truth, lady. Makoto. That's preposterous. If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? I don't want to say. Ask her yourself. Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Did Kanashiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. It's the truth. Take it how you will. Dot, dot, dot. We're gonna keep telling her that it's the truth. <sighs> but why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Yeah, that one. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? Of course. I have no reason to lie. You can decide that. That's the plan. We'll let her be the judge. Then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you. I wonder now. if I can steal her heart. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? Sure. I've made a deal with Sai Nijima. I no way. Thou, thou we got a new I. confidant with her? It shall become the wings of the birth of the judgment persona. Judgment persona. Awesome. Rank one. All right. Damn, so we got a long way to go for us to max this out? We're running out of time. Holy crap. Let's move on to your next target. That's a long way to go, guys. This game must be corrected. long as shit. It was they who targeted your group first, wasn't it? They? The identity of your opponent is this. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. Who that? If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Okay. I'm excited for that. This is a they thing now. It's not just one person. The summary of the story has been updated. Okay, cool. I think I might try to do like a couple more days of social links and then I'll end today's episode. I really wanted to talk to that Shogi player, but I don't know if we're going to increase our charm. But we'll see what happens. The Phantom Thieves made him have a change of heart, right? Seriously, the Phantom Thieves are amazing. Isn't it so cool how they steal people's hearts? How do they make them repent? I'm really curious. Who are they? Hey, check hey. the ingredients oh. in the fridge. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to talk. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right? Not cute. Not cute? Who are you talking to? That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh, it'll do, but it's not it. Okay, I'll be right over. This guy stay getting booty calls. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving this door to you. Lock up for me if I don't come back. Got it. 
Going on a date? Just come back quick. Let's see what he's up to. Something like that. Woo! I see you, big dog. <laughs> what a handful. Make sure you wrap it up, all right? Well, you're old anyway. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna have any kids. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Ah, uh, Madurame, was it? They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. Well, that may be true, but... Don't you think so, too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? Nah, hell no, old lady. Of course they're not. See, even he says that they're doing good. Hell yeah. Oh my, look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. What do you mean? You owe me A50! They think they're gonna get out of here scot free? Yes. Fuck out of here, I old people. I received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public support of them either. There's also the danger of the metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Oh, wow. Ah, I thought as much. So he's gonna try to frame that us. it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, I think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, I'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yeah. Grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a few people are entitled to change the world, like you, future Prime Minister. <laughs> so I was thinking that the principal was talking to the same guy that this guy's talking to. So they're all connected to like one big mastermind. We just have to find out who that mastermind is. It's Ryuji. Hey, it's me. Where you at? What you doing? Um, just with a hot chick right now. Gotcha. We're gonna come over right now about the, uh, you know what. See ya. You know what? I don't so, know what. We're here to hang out. Oh, there you guys are. It's party time. That's not why we're here. We need to study for finals. Oh man. Why am I here too? <laughs> because you love us? You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know. That's right. I don't need to study. But I don't wanna. <laughs> Sounds like something I would say. I understand, man. Let's leave those guys be. <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here. But what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. I'm the storekeeper. It's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. That's... that's terrible. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same too. I mean, <laughs> it's not as bad as this guy's though. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me. I know, I know. We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? 
That's the secret. Ah, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exam? Not really. It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I I'm just joking. P please teach us. <laughs> I wish I had friends phobia, like this. So it's a fear of some we kind. never wanted to study. We never had study groups like this. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. I want friendships like this, guys. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Same here. Duh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm going to use it in the future. It's funny because they're speaking English right now, but in the real game, they're speaking Japanese and they're learning English. So what they're saying right now is kind of funny because they're actually speaking English. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable too. It's like a direct translation. Uh, shut up! So they're like, oh, I'm studying English, but I don't really know how to speak it. But they're speaking it in Explain the dub. Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? <laughs> Why don't we take a break? And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then, by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws? Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass. <laughs> oh, I Why the see. Hell are we being treated as the bad guys. Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. They better be. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. Just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. The wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me! The celebration party! Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. <laughs> the last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Hmm? A buffet? Hmm, where would be good? Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? That sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? The fuck Doesn't is a yukata? Doesn't fireworks festival sound good? I, you think so too, right? I guess. Uh, I'll just agree. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, guys. I was going to do more social links, but it seems like... All right. Fireworks Festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> 